Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As usual, I am your host, Slash If you're today, we're going to talk about a couple of Ghanaian players abroad. Starting off with Kudus Mohamed, the Ghana Black Stars man's his role has been explained at West Ham United by the coach David Moyes. West Ham have played a couple of games since Kudus joined them, and he has been a bit part performer or involved, had bit part involvement in it. His manager David Moyes. In the press, I revealed what Kudus Mohamed brings to the table and how they, can, or they are looking to gently ease him into life in the Premier League. We we'll also talk about the return date from injury for a Ghana Black Stars man, Joseph Painto, who missed out on Ghana's latest international friendlies due to an injury. He flew in, unfortunately, after being assessed by Ghana's medical team. It was determined that he could not play and was flown back to his club side. We'll look at the return day for him and Kamal Sowa scored on his very first game for Standard Liège in the Belgian Pro League. We'll look at all that today. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Click on the notification bell to get more updates. We'll start off from the camp of Kudus Mohamed, the Ghana Black Stars man who made that big switch that got a lot of people talking, buzzing, and hyping up to West Ham United. The Hammers were in a great form, a great patch of form. His opening game versus Luton Town, he came on in the latter stages in added time, had really little to do time to show what he was capable of. In the second game, after the international break where he scored back to back goals for the Black Stars, he came on earlier in the 67th minute versus the champions Manchester City which would be a tall order for any club they lost unfortunately and David Moyes the manager has sought to uh, clear the air on what he believes Kudus Mohamed bring to the table I believe the signing of uh, the attacking midfielder uh, will make his team more expansive now Moyes admits the changes will not come easy uh, but believes the creativity of the Black Stars midfielder coupled uh, with the flair of Brazilian winger Lucas Paqueta uh, could make the team exciting to watch. Now, according to the former Manchester United manager, West Ham want to score more goals while maintaining their defensive solidity. I do not want to be more expansive. I, I do want to be more expansive and that's why we signed Lucas Paqueta last season and Kudus Mohamed this summer, he said. It's not easy to change everything. We've tried different elements of our game and it hasn't always worked. Last season, we didn't score enough goals and we want to improve on that, but still ensuring we are hard to beat. That might not be what everyone wants to watch or hear, but ultimately the way we played is part of the reason we've won a European trophy and are back in Europe. Kudu scored in both of Ghana's games and is looking to be a main man for West Ham United. And we'll have to take our time in expecting Kudus Mohamed to just get into the team. It happened at Ajax, he was eased in. Not until his third season there did we see his full potential come out for us to see and acknowledge and uh, enjoy. Uh, he will come good. West Ham will need him, they will use him, and he will be the player we want him to be in the Premier League. I'm quite confident of that. I'm not worried by the little playing time. I think it is good. The pressure in the Premier League can get to even the best of players. So all is good on the front for me on that one there. Kudus Mohamed is into the Premier League football life. Uh, David Moy says he wants to be more expansive. That's why they signed Paqueta and Kudus. But then uh, don't leave the back door open whilst uh, trying to go for a run and enjoy yourself uh, to give the chance for thieves where there's thieves here yes, in the opposing team to score them. So he believes solidity is also important despite them wanting to be expansive as well. Kudus signing will herald that for him. Great, great. I agree with that. Exactly. My next story has to come out so uh, he was on target for standard Liège. He scored on his debut against Cass Upen in the Julipa Pro League. The 23-year-old joined Liège in the just ended summer transfer window following a difficult spell with club Bruce. So I was named a Liège starting lineup to face Upen. Uh, Wilfred Kanga broke the deadlock uh, before the end of the first half with his goal for Liège. The Japanese footballer capitalized on a huge mistake uh, by the opponent and struck the ball into the bottom left corner. 
uh, Hawaii Kawabi can double the lead uh, before the halftime break with his goal Soa sealed the win for Liege in the 75th minute with a nice finish the Ghana international brilliantly darted into the box uh, to latch onto a cross and bury the ball into the bottom right corner uh, the deficit was reduced 3-1 it ended in great news therefore Kamal Soa scoring on his debut the return date uh, for Ghana Black Stars man uh, Joseph Payne so has been announced. Uh, the Ghana winger has resumed training. He's resumed training and is likely to be available for selection for gang against Union Saint Gallois in the Belgian Chilipa Pro League. Uh, this weekend, uh, he was expected to be back. The 25-year-old uh, pulled out of the Black Stars team. Unfortunately, due to an injury, the gangster had to return to his club following a minor knock. And in training ahead of Ghana's game against Central African Republic, Painto left the team's camp to undergo further checks on his injury he had sustained in a game over the weekend before the international break. The gang will travel to Union St. Galois. They did that this weekend. And uh, Joseph Painto came close to leaving Gank in the summer transfer window after talks with Leeds United, Southampton, and Bellley. Unfortunately for him, those talks did not bear fruits in terms of him making a move ultimately so it was just talks that led to nowhere so he's staying put again this season at least the half first half of the season talking about players returning from injury thomas tear parties arsenal team who are doing quite well without the Ghanaian and declan rice stepping in nicely he's expected to be back by october yeah unfortunately there for party could probably miss the October international break as well. The two friendlies gonna have lined up uh, between Mexico and the United States. Those October friendlies will be crucial in preparations for the World Cup qualifiers in November. So Patty could be someone who will be missing that because he could probably just be returning from injury and Arsenal might not want to risk him for just a friendly, not a crucial game on the international level, a preparatory game at least for the Ghana Black Stars and uh, their preparation for the World Cup qualifiers. So that has been it for today. Kudus Mohamed's role at West Ham United, uh, defined by coach David Moyes. He feels that Kudus will give West Ham more chances to play expansive football. However, he is not going to uh, move away from his solidity he has been building over the years. And that is why he says they won a European trophy, the Conference League that's his last season. He also talked about the fact that the signing of Paqueta and Kudus is to help West Ham score more goals. And he believes Kudus will add that to the team. Hopefully, he does add that. Genk man, Joseph Painto, expected to be back this weekend for his club side. First goal on his debut for Kamar Soa. Party expected to be back in October. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great evening. Thank you.